So, hello everybody. Last week we saw the strange little announcement in Bitwig Studio 508, little bug fix update. There was this new feature mentioned, DAW project files can now be exported and imported. And nobody had any idea what this is actually about. But this week, we have a Tuesday now. There is the cat out of the bag and it says Bitwig and Bree Sodos are making it easy to share projects between programs. So it seems Bitwig is all over creating open standards for everybody to adapt. We first saw that we have multi-sample format where you can exchange multi-samples between samplers. Then we had the Clever Audio plugin, the Clap format, which had a big impact already. And now we see an open format for exchanging full project files. And this is very interesting. You can use it out of the box now between Bitwig Studio and also Studio One announced support today. It's the version 6.5 of Studio One. What is the intention of it? The intention of the format is to cover the most basic needs you have. And you can see that clearly what is supported. You have a timeline as well as a session view, which is supported. And you can also exchange audio and note clips as well as automation, as well as tempo automation, volume automation. So all the basic stuff you need, including plugins. So full state of plugins, VST2, 3, AU and Clap as well. But also some additional features like there is a generic EQ and compressor gate and limiter, which can then be adapted to built-in devices in each and every DAW. Yeah, what the intention is also not to create a fast binary thing. The focus is clearly on simplicity, as we will have a look later how that looks in detail. So simplicity is the key here for each and everybody to adapt. And even if you can do a little bit of coding, it can be very helpful to you. For example, if you want to create lists with the tracks in a project or extract the metadata from it, which is an author and things like that. So let's check it out. I I started here the new Bitwig release 509 and I opened a project of mine which is from my last Mossifier album and the song is called Disappointment and this is a full final mix with the mastering chain also active. So this is basically everything is audio but I also have hidden tracks in here which is something I'm curious about if the tracks will also be hidden. So the hidden tracks contain the original MIDI and also the original devices. So clearly, okay, Bitwig specific devices will not come over, but I think I'm curious if something like a hardware instrument might exist in PreSonos. I don't know. So let's see what this will bring us. And yeah, just maybe let's, let's have a listen for a second. Yeah, my, my computer is already fighting with it, so it's totally maxed out with plugins here and also running here. The video recorder is something a bit of problematic. My original ideas are here as well. So you see in the clip view a lot of clips, which are also audio and also the hidden ones are MIDI. So I'm really curious how this will translate over to Bisonos. So let's give it a shot. To create such a DAW project, you simply go to the file menu and say you want to export a DAW project. And then you just place it somewhere. Let's, yeah, it's already disappointment.daw project. Let's create and store that. And let's have a look at that. So the here is the created file. We will have a look at that later, how that looks in the inside. All the files, all the referent files, all your audio files are packed together in this one file. So it's pretty easy to copy over somewhere else. And yeah, let's close down Bitwig Studio and open up Studio One in version 6.5. So here it is with a German user interface. I hope you don't mind. So let's go to file and open and let's see what we can do. Oh, it's really surprising. They support already lots of different imports format. And here is also now the DAW project file. And yeah, let's find that again on our desktop. Here it is. And let's say open. It's doing something. It's loading plugins. 
So, what did it do? How can we see everything? I have no idea about Studio One. I never used Studio One, but I guess, yeah, it works like a door. So, yeah, this looks actually pretty nice. Can we have a playback? But I cannot hear anything, so I'm not sure where we are sending audio because my audio setup is quite complex and I have no idea where I can set it up here. Where in the world do I set up? There must be something like properties or something. Options. Audio. Here we are. So that looks correct. Ah, that one is wrong. How can I change that? Okay, so here is a mixer, here is a master track. Where can we say, ah, here we can, ah, here we go. So we need to send it to here. And then you should be able to hear something. Wow, this sounds pretty identical to me. <laughs> wow, I'm blown away. This is the same project. Unbelievable. So let's check it out. So we have the inserts here. How can I open inserts? Come on. How oh, can we make this bigger? Okay, so we, you see we have the UE Presswork, the Ozone plugin, everything's in here. So all the plugins, we have also an EQ here. Where can we hide again? Where, uh, let's hide that again. So where do I see the tracks? Which tracks we have? Ah, there is one deactivated track, okay. So the deactivated tracks are here as well. Where do I see the plugins again? Yeah, this looks pretty good. Where do we have something which is clearly MIDI? That one's a MIDI track here, so let's, but that's, uh, mm -hmm. seems like the MIDI is also nicely here. And where can I find clips? So this is editing, okay. Okay, so I have no idea where I can find the clip view and I feel pretty stupid. Please tell me down in the comments where the clip view is so we can check this too. But nevertheless, I don't want to bore you with searching here the clip view. And but I think this might be also somewhere, but I'm really impressed how good this came over. And let's have a look again. This sounds pretty good to me. I guess there will be a little issues with that, but nevertheless, if you want to bring it over for the case for mixing, for example, this is really great to have. So let's have a closer look at the file, what this is actually about. So the file form is pretty simple. As I said, it's just a zip file. So you can open it with your favorite uh, zip tool. For example, here I have the 7-zip file manager. Every operating system has also a zip tool included. So you simply see that. And what you have, you have some metadata description. Let's check that out. That basically contains here your author, the title, which I seems I did not fill it out but you have also the comments where I had some notes about the lyrics and that's in here. The other one is the real project which is also just a simple straightforward XML file. If you ever see an XML it's really easy. You have a project, you have the tracks, the channels, you have the plugins and so on. We can have a later a look what's actually in there, what options you have to do. And then you have all your audio files included and you have also your plugin states included. So pretty straightforward format. And there is also developer documentation for that. So if we go to the project side, so you can find all the information on GitHub if you want also your DAW to support it. It gives you the XML schema for the project as well as for the metadata and in any programming language you can deal with that easily and create some helper files for that to read and write that so it shouldn't be too hard to support something like this. 
And also let's have a look what is actually in there. So this is a little bit of a nicer presentation about the available tags. So we have the project route, we have the metadata, we have an application info, transport info, and you have track channels and sends. And also for tracks, you have a usual track types where there is a type it's in the channel i think you have things like master effect submix vca so pretty straightforward to all the things you need we have also timeline elements so uh, an arrangement scenes clips lanes and all the things you need what is interesting we also have video so Maybe that could be, a, I have no idea, but maybe that's a hint what might come in the future for Bitwig as well, which would be really great. And also on plugins, you have AU plugins, which we do not have in Bitwig as well currently, but we have also Clap plugins, which we do not have in the Presono Studio One. So maybe this is also a hint what might come. And yeah, so all the basic stuff is here. Also the parameters, which can also be automated, the automation elements with points and envelopes and all that stuff. Yeah, so much for a quick overview, what we can do with it. And surely you can also do it the other way around. You can also export it from Studio One and then import it in Bitwig. So this is also working. And in Bitwig, you simply use the open dialog, which can also open door project. And maybe there is also coming from my side to support another door. So stay tuned until the next time and make some funky music.